In this video, I'll share how to set up MailChimp's Forward to a Friend option to your campaigns. The Forward to a Friend option allows your subscribed contacts to forward your campaign to their friends. If you've got subscribers who are likely to share your content via email, then this is something you'll want to set up. So let's get started. Before we add the Forward to a Friend option to your campaigns, you first want to take a look at what you have for the Forward to a Friend form and the Forward to a Friend email. To do that, under the Audience tab, go to Sign Up Forms, then scroll down and click on Form Builder. Then under the Forms and Response Email section right here, click on the down arrow and then scroll down a bit until you see Other Bits. And then we have the two options there, Forward to a Friend Form and Forward to a Friend Email. So I suggest that you review both the form and the email so that you are familiar with the contents in each one and you do have the ability to make very minor design changes if needed. How does the forward to a friend work? Well, when you go to create your campaign, you'll add the forward merge tag to your content. This merge tag automatically populates with a link when the campaign is sent. So let's get started creating a campaign and adding this merge tag to our content. To create a campaign, you just simply click on the create button. It'll default to creating an email. We'll call this forward to a friend, something like that. And we'll click on create email. When you click on create email, you can add in your recipients. We'll add it to our test subjects. All subscribers in the audience, click on save. Should pick up your default from email address. And the subject line is howdy. And the preview text is feel free to share. Okay, click on save. Send time, we'll do now. Click save. And then we design our email. We'll go under save templates and we'll use our new template here. Click on apply. So let me show you how this merge tag gets applied in your emails. So we can do a button or we can do a paragraph. Let's try the button. So we'll drag that down, maybe towards the bottom here, right about there is good. And we're gonna change the web address here to our merge tag. So it's an asterisk vertical line, which is above the enter key, then the word forward, followed by another vertical line, and then the ending asterisk. So that's easy enough. So that's all it takes. And the other part of this is obviously changing the text to the button because we wanna have a call to action. So if we remove the text, add button text, we can add in another merge tag. So let's add in the person's first name. So we can do asterisk vertical line, and it'll automatically know that you're putting in a merge tag and we'll do F name. Then we can click out of that, put in a comma there, and then we can say, feel free to share with a colleague, something like that. And we can change the shape of the button. So we'll be able to do round size will be large. So it takes up a nice good chunk of space so people won't miss it. And the button color can stay the same because that goes with the theme and everything else can stay the same. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go to preview. And if we scroll down here, it'll say friend because that is my default value. If anyone does not have a first name on my list, feel free to share with a colleague. And if I click that link, it's going to open up our form. So that is all working great. Let me just go back one here. Now, if we want to do live merge tag info. In other words, we want to see a first name of uh, someone on our list. We turn this on to enable live merge tag info and it will replace friend with the first name of our first contact. And it'll give us an example here. So that is all working great, except the first name of this person, Lawrence, is not in all caps. How do we change that to make it fit with the rest of our text? Well, let's go back to our email. There's another piece that you can add to your merge tag F name here. How we do that, we just add in upper, right, right before the F and F name. So it'll be uppercase F name. And if we go to preview that and turn on a live merge tag info, if we scroll down here, it will now be in all caps. So now it matches the rest of the text. Very cool. So we're done with the preview and we're done with everything that's working great. So now we can send out a test or to make sure that this actually works, we can send it out to our test subjects. In your case, if you have a person on your list with a tag named test, you can send it out to that specific person and that will work just as well. We're gonna click on save and exit but we're just gonna click on send. Nice job, your email is sending. Then we're gonna come back to the video when we receive our email. So we received our email within seconds. And if we scroll down here, here is our button forward to a friend. And if we click on that button, it's gonna open up our form in a new browser window. 
We can enter in our friend's name. We can say Susie Sample here, and we'll put in an address here, and put in a first name, put in our full name, our email address, and something that will be helpful to the person receiving this forward. Something like that. There you go, Grammarly. Do the I'm not a robot check, and then we can send our email. Now, as a reminder, just because you're sending this email to your friend does not automatically opt in your friend to the audience list. And MailChimp has that explained down here in their privacy pledge. So keep that in mind. Click send email. Message has been sent. Let's go check out our email that went to Suzy Sample. So here's the email that arrived for Suzy Sample. Here's the link directly to that email campaign. If you click on that, it will open it up directly in the browser which is nice. And then, and here's our message that we sent to Susie. And there's a call to action here. It says, hey, did you find this link interesting? Maybe you want to forward it on to uh, your own friends, or you can subscribe to the email list. And if you click on that, it'll open up a form for them to put in their information and sign up and put in their preferences if you have that attached to your sign up form like I do. Now let's take a look at how this looks like when we look at our campaign report, when we're looking at forwards and forward opens. So in our campaign here, I have this email right here, forward to a friend. We click on view report and we scroll down. We'll see here that it was forwarded once and it was opened twice. It would be nice here to know who did the forwarding. It would be great to know that because then you could offer some type of incentive for people who forwarded X amount of times. Maybe, you know, it'd be nice to segment those people out and send them a special email saying, thanks for being such uh, a great subscriber. We'd like to offer you a 10% discount on our store or something like that. Right now it's just heart coded in there. So you're not gonna see who forwarded and obviously you're not gonna see who opens up the forward because that is a privacy policy. So as you can see, a forward to your friend option can be a powerful tool for enhancing your email marketing strategy, driving that organic growth and building a stronger, more engaged community around your brand.